how would you like a way to make all of your meditations go in immediately inside you where they're going to make a difference for you very easily simple method hi i'm reverend ali bierman and i'm so glad you joined us here today for a gathering of metaphysical ministry international now metaphysics is a philosophical explanation of quantum physics in other words why your world looks the way it does we begin every week with a happy share now happy share is something that leaves you feeling happy feeling good feeling at peace why do we do that because for most people today they live in a state of just getting by in fact so very many people basically tiptoe through life hoping to make it through to the end what kind of way is that to live life? When you look for things in your life that make you feel good and happy, I guarantee you'll find them because they're there all the time. You just don't know to look for them. And when you start looking for them, not only will you see more and more of them, but the universe will bring more and more reasons to you for feeling happy. So go ahead down below there and share what your happy share is today. And you might also go over to the happy share movement dot com because it is my goal to spread this knowledge to spread this habit of happiness across the planet it makes a difference in your energy the energy for those around you the energy for the world and the planet so what is my happy share today well you probably know I meditate every day which is why the topic for what I'm going to tell you in a moment has to do with meditation well, I had a big surprise when I was meditating this morning. I've heard many people I know refer to downloading information, downloading books, and I thought, I wonder if that's the same thing I do that I describe as channeling, that just information passes through me. It's how I write my books. It's how I do a lot of the work when I'm working with people. It's how I appear to know things that I know I'm not knowing. It's coming from... I believe the universe anyway I had this massive download today that was very different from the little bits and pieces of information I usually get in fact what I got was an entire how to step-by-step -step picture for how to completely redesign my business so I can reach my goal that I set oh, about 16 years ago powering powerfully impacting 3 million lives for the better something I couldn't possibly do all by myself. So as I said, I got all this step by step. I'm really excited and it just kept coming, 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 coming. Unfortunately, I was doing my morning gratitude exercise. I had my notebook in front of me. got to write it all down. That's a huge, huge, one of my biggest happy shares ever, I guess, besides the fact that I think I'm speaking pretty clearly today, which is also a really wonderful gift for me. So now let me get to the piece about how to make your meditation work more easily, how to get into it, and how to really be able to go inside. What you want to be able to do is bypass your left brain, because your left brain is where all that little chattering voice is. The one you hear right now saying, chattering voice, let's get out of here. I don't have a chattering voice. I don't know what she's talking about. I actually call that the commentator. And I don't want to go into any more about that, except your meditation is not going to work. You're not going to be able to get into your right brain spiritual connection with that chatter going on. So the way to do that is change your focus for your brain and literally change the brainwave patterns. Very, very easy, as I told you. So you want to get yourself comfortable and you want to sit down, lie down, I don't care, eyes open, eyes closed, you do what's comfortable for you. Nobody can tell you what's comfortable for you, right? Okay, now you want to breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your mouth and breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your mouth and 
and breathe out through your nose. Now that completes one cycle. You may notice there's a magic number three that continually pops up in all kinds of spiritual literature, also in religions, which at one time came from a place of spirituality. Anyway, you do that cycle in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out through the nose. I'll write it down below in the description area to clarify it for you. Do that whole cycle three times, and you will be in a brain state that whatever meditation you're doing will have a much deeper, more powerful effect. And in fact, for me, just doing that cycle three times is a meditation all by itself. If there's a time when I'm stressed, all I have to do is that simple breathing pattern. I recommend the same to you for those moments in the day when you just need to step back from the pressures, what's going on. If you're on the ministry site, metaphysicalministryinternational.com, and if you look up there, you will see a page. It's called Hold the Space For. Hold the Space For means to see somebody living, actually manifesting a reality that isn't present for them yet. Now, people have asked us to hold the space for us to see them doing things like having a new or different car, finding a new place to live, a new job, finding a course that they want to take and they're not sure if it even exists. Whatever it is you'd like to manifest in your life, if you write it down below, it will of course appear down below and then it will also appear up on that Hold the Space for page. Come back at least once a week read your name, what you want us to hold the space for, read every other name there with the hold the space for request. The universe knows who the people are. It doesn't matter if you don't. And tell your family and friends to do so too, because the more people doing it, the bigger the thought form. And the whole point is to change the energy around it and to remind you of what you want. Really, really glad you came by today appreciate you clicking like and share so that others who you know but you may not know are seeking a spiritual path other than what they've been on before. They'll know that when they see that you've been here. If you haven't done so already, going over there, get your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. Again, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I thank you for coming by. Have a wonderful week. Remember to do that breathing routine, that whole set three times, and start your habit of happiness. Blessings.